Now, as we continue to suppress the virus within our own borders and increase the protection of the vaccine, it is essential that we also guard against fresh importation of cases from overseas. This is particularly important as the virus mutates and new, more infectious and potentially more severe variants emerge. And as we look ahead, we must learn from past experience. We now know, for example, that by early July last year, we had almost eliminated COVID in Scotland, but then allowed it to be reseeded from, in the main, overseas travel. We must guard against that happening again. It is to that end that the four UK nations have already agreed that travellers coming into the UK from countries with a travel ban in place will be required to quarantine in hotels. That is a necessary measure, but in the Scottish Government's view, it does not go far enough. Firstly, there should be very few people coming from countries with a ban in place anyway. Second, this approach leaves open the possibility that people will travel into the UK from those countries via third countries. And thirdly, an approach that, uh, to manage quarantine that only includes countries where new variants have already been identified is too reactive, because often by the time a new variant has been identified through genomic sequencing, it will already have spread across borders. So the firm view of the Scottish Government is that in order to minimise the risk of new strains coming into the country, managed quarantine must be much more comprehensive. I can therefore confirm today that we intend to introduce a managed quarantine requirement for anyone who arrives directly into Scotland, regardless of which country they have come from. Obviously, we cannot unilaterally implement immediate managed quarantine for people who arrive in other parts of the UK before travelling on to Scotland, so we will continue to urge the UK Government to adopt uh, a similar comprehensive approach. However, if they don't wish to do so, as is entirely their prerogative, we will ask them to work with us to reduce the risk amongst people travelling to Scotland via ports elsewhere in the UK.